In this video, we'll be looking at chemical graph theory as an application to graph theory and seeing how graph theory can be used to predict things like the boiling point of different molecules. Before we look at some properties of chemical graph theory, we need to learn about some basic information regarding carbon molecules. A single carbon atom can form a total of four bonds to four other atoms in a molecule. Looking at butane here, we can see that each of the carbon atoms, denoted by a letter C, is connected to four other atoms. These are known as bonds. This is also the structural formula for butane. For simplicity, we use the skeletal formula which neglects all the hydrogen atoms in the molecule and instead just uses the carbon backbone. Each edge on the skeletal formula is a carbon molecule, a carbon atom and each of the bonds can be considered as uh, vertices whereas the carbon atoms can be considered as edges. The first parameter we can determine is called the path number. The path number is defined as the sum of all distances between all pairs of carbon atoms in the molecule and is denoted by the letter W. To help us work out what carbon pairs have already been considered, we have to label each carbon atom with a unique number, which in this case we label from 1 to 4, from left to right. Between carbon 1 and 2, there's a distance of one edge, and the same with carbon 2 and 3 along the uh, same as the carbon 3 and 4. Between carbons 1 and 3 there's a distance of two edges and the same with carbons 2 and 4. On top of this between carbon 1 and 4 there is a distance of three edges therefore the path number w is equal to the sum of all these distances so therefore w is equal to 10. Here's an example for you to work through. So pause the video and try to calculate the path number for isobutane. Once you've worked it out, come back to the video. In this molecule, there are three carbon atom pairs separated by distance of 1. These are C1 and C2, C2 and C3, and C4 and C2. There's also two car three carbon atom pairs separated by distance of 2. These are C1 and C3, C4 and C3, along with C4 and C1. There's no carbon atom pair separated by distance of three edges. The only way for this to work was if you could go up a bond and then return down it again, which we can't do. Therefore, the answer of the path number is 9. The plurality number is the number we define next.
Another quick example view here. Find the polarity number for heptane and then pause the video. The first carbon atom, its pair is separated by three vertices, is the C1 and C4 carbon atom pair. Then the second pair is C2 and C5, along with C3 and C6, and C4 and C7. Therefore the polarity number is going to be the sum of all these carbon atom pairs, therefore it's going to be 4. Again, the carbon atom pair is C1 to C4 is exactly the same as C4 to C1, as the there's no directionality in the edges between C1 to C4. One application of all this is being able to determine the boiling point of an alkene isomer relative to its straight chain version. Isomers are molecules with the same number of carbon atoms but arranged differently in space. Butane is a straight chain version of a carbon alkane molecule which contains four carbon atoms, and isobutane is the branched version of the four carbon atom alkane. An alkane is a molecule which only contains carbon carbon single bonds, and in other words, this means edges which have a weight of one. Alkenes are molecules which have carbon carbon double bonds, which are edges with a weighting of two but these molecules aren't considered in this video. The boiling point of an alkane is equal to the path number multiplied by constant A plus the polarity number multiplied by constant B plus another constant C. We can then work out from here the change of boiling point for an alkane isomer relative to the boiling point of the straight chain alkane using this final formula. This formula is delta t equals 98 over n squared multiplied by delta w plus 5.5 delta p. n here is number of carbon atoms and the delta t means the change in boiling point of the alkane isomer relative to the straight chain version. We can think of this as differentiating the original equation as the constant c's have changed and the W and P's have been differentiated to give delta P and delta W. Below are some results from a research paper which applied the formula we previously looked at. Butane at the top has a delta t zero of 0 because delta t again is a change in boiling point from the straight chain version to the branched version of that molecule. Butane is a straight chain molecule so it's the chain from butane to butane so the change in boiling point from butane to butane must be 0. The researchers also found that there was a 0.5 degree difference in the change in boiling point between the straight chain alkane and the branch alkane of the theoretical value calculated from the formula and the um, value obtained during experimentation, which shows that graph theory can be applied to chemistry and can be used to determine things like boiling points for alkane isomers. This has potential uses in the separation of crude oils.